Here we go. The next Impact Fest is coming, and the next fantasy unit as well being Todoroki. Now, before we go in and get started with today's video, make sure you guys go down there, click that red subscribe button, make sure it says subscribe, click that bell, turn on all notifications beside on any future videos, drop a like down below and comment. Are you excited for Impact Fest return as well as you excited for another fantasy unit to come back as well? So, as you can see here, we got some goodies coming out. You know, the new All Might is here. There's another video coming on all the details for All Might, Genus, Gran Torino, etc. All that stuff will be in another video. But this video right here, man, this is some news. They just threw this in there. Just, I, I don't even know what to make of this, man. It's like, why, where did this come from? Why are they doing this? I don't know. Maybe this is like the, the quote unquote part two, maybe of like the, it's not part of the anniversary clearly, but you know, it felt like it might be, but Hey, who knows? But as you can see, we have all the new units right here on the website, not the memories that haven't put them on there yet, but the new units are here, but you see another new, you are there. That is like, Hmm, we didn't know about this guy. Well, if you look right down here, Impact Fest Heroes Hot Picks Recruit Todoroki is going to be coming on the 30th in just less than like about three days from now, JST, we're going to be getting another Impact Fest banner. And I mean, bro, like, look at this Impact Fest Todoroki Heroes uh, hot picks recruit. This is the actual hot picks limited unit. So this guy will not return until another hot picks banner. But it is also another UR drop rate times 1.5 rates. So you get those increased drop rates. We're seeing Fantasy Todoroki as well coming into play. The Heroes Assemble Todoroki, just like the Heroes Assemble Bakugo and Deku. But they just dropped this out of nowhere. So again, it starts on the 30th. 0000 to so 12 a.m. JST to 7, so July 7th at uh, about about the almost the 8th. So it lasts for a good minute. I don't think it lasts too too long. At least this is the the times two raid banner. I may believe. I don't know. I need to look at that real quick. But either way, we're getting another Impact Fest, another times 1.5 rates banner, and it's another fantasy unit being Todoroki. Man, that's super exciting. But we do have his information now in the database and in the assets and whatnot. There is no new memories regarding the fantasy banner, this impact vest banner. So they may add that later. So I'm not going to say it's 100% confirmed that there are no new memories, not a new SR, whatever the case may be. We don't know that fully just yet because this was in the data download today with the all might. So they could add more once this impact vest comes out potentially don't know but we could see otherwise it's just this Todoroki if it's if it's just like this so it's just the new Todoroki for the impact fest so let's go ahead and take a look at his kit as well as the plus ultra animation because oh my goodness is it just is it just amazing let me just scroll that down here oh it's it not in full screen here as you can kind of see it Man, fantasy Todoroki is coming, man. Looking pretty sick. He is also ABL type. So, man, I wonder if he's going to work well with the, with the UR World Heroes Mission Todoroki. So let's take a look at what he does as well. His art also, by the way, looking fantastic. Look at that art. The first one. Then we have his Awakened art. Again, looking so awesome. He also has a new move called Ice Fog. But let's take a look at him real quick. So plus ultra deals 600% damage to a single opponent. Skill impact increased by 40% when landing a critical hit. I'm assuming that stacks as well. He also decreases the opponent's defense by 30% for three turns. Also reduces character's action skill cooldown time by two. So if we look at his cooldown time six and five, it's going to come in handy if you get off that plus ultra really quick, you know? So that's cool. I mean, the defense drop, again, good for, you know, VE tower. Going to be good for stuff like, you know, the USJ if you're struggling with that. Also good for PvP just to get some extra damage off, as well as that increased critical rate. Again, getting those criticals off, especially in VE tower, going to be super good as well. So we have Ice Fog, his brand new move, deals 350% damage to a single opponent, high chance, which is 70% at high chance, giving Frostbite to the opponent for three turns, increases critical hit rate 
of all allies by 20% for three turns when used in a successfully executed skill chain. Doesn't matter what number, just one, two, or three, whatever, as long as you get it in the skill chain and, win, and you successfully have it. Gives up all allies a barrier that nullifies one hit when used in a second or later successfully executed skill chain. So if you use it in skill chain slot two or three, you're going to get this barrier. Plus, you're also going to get the critical hit rate as well, as long as it's successful. So critical hit rate of all allies plus a barrier to all allies to nullify those hits for those harder events, especially for the, the new climax battle. All for one is an STR type. He's ABL. You're going to want these ABL units for that climax battle. And this guy's probably going to be super, super good for climax battle, man. Like I'm just, I'm just going to say it right now. He's probably super amazing for climax. All right. So his second is ice block deals 225% damage to all opponents. Medium chance of 40% of freezing all opponents for one turn. Also decreases the opponent's speed by 20% for three turns when used in a successfully executed skill chain. So again, that's gonna be good for something like PvP. You want to get off that, you know, this off right out the gate. You actually kind of want to get this off right away. Plus, you have that freeze chance. But you want to get this off that way. You can actually get that speed decrease to your opponent and go faster in PvP and stuff. So that's pretty good. All right. So his outer skills. I'm getting. I'm going to get better. His first one increases critical rate of all allies by thirty percent when character has a barrier. So. You use this first action skill, give all your allies a barrier. It also does include himself. So you're going to give all allies another critical hit rate boost of 30% on top of this critical hit rate boost here of 20%. And then also gives character a barrier that nullifies two hits after receiving attacks from an opponent whose speed is decreased up to three times. So you need to decrease an opponent up to three times in order to start getting that extra barrier uh, for two hits after you've received three attacks from that, uh, that opponent that has the decrease of three times. So that's interesting. I don't know if that's like, in like, you know, you speed decrease if it's okay to wait, if this opponent has a speed decrease or do you need three speed debuffs at one time? I'm assuming it's three speed debuffs, but either way. Uh, also every time a critical hit is made, increases characters, critical hit rate, oh, increases all allies, critical hit rate by 5% up to 10 times. That's up to 50% and increases characters plus ultra gauge by 10%. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So every time you get a critical hit rate, you're going to raise your plus ultra because you want to get off this plus ultra because you want to reduce your school, your cooldown time. And also just get that critical that skill impact increase as well when you're landing the critical hit. So if you get that critical hit rate increase, get the critical rate increase here, you get it here. If you at least land a crit, you're getting that skill impact increase there and then also decrease opponent's defense. Man, this guy, let's look at his stats real quick, by the way. Maximum, no ADV, 3000 HP. 69, 25, 424 speed, 10 and 100 max ADV, 35,000 HP, 7,900 power and 524 speed. What is that relative to Bakugo and Deku here? So Bakugo, Bakugo is a little less. He's a little bit under power to Bakugo, but he is higher HP than Bakugo. Uh, actually, what is his speed in relative? Rel I think he's no, he's not faster than Bakugo. Uh, Fantasy Deku. Fantasy Deku still holds the highest HP of the of them, but he does have higher power than Deku, so that's not, not too bad. So that's cool. Again, this guy, <laughs> oh my god, Matt, pairing him, if you pair him and the ABL World Heroes Mission Todoroki, and you put this guy with like Fantasy Bakugo on the team, oh my god, is that insane? This guy's really good. <laughs> this guy's really, really good, man. I... I <laughs> I can't, I, I can't, I can't. Oh my God. We're finally getting another impact fest. I thought we would be waiting at least till the global anniversary potentially to see another impact fest or maybe for Christmas or something. I didn't expect another impact fest this soon. And it's especially be another fantasy unit, man. <laughs> Oh, this is, so, I mean, we're eating tonight. We are eating right now in my Hero ultra impact. Anyone who says game is dead, screw you. No, it's not. <laughs> this game is far from it, man. We're getting some awesome new characters. I mean, again, they just threw this in the down to down. I didn't, no one, I don't think anyone expected this Todoroki to be in here. Again, we just got the new All Might and Genist event and recruit banner. We also are getting the climax battle free to play all for one. And again, this guy is just here. And he's also coming out in less than like around three days. And like, what? Why are they running? They're running an impact fest. It just, Hey, here's an impact fest. There you go. One times 1.5. So 
I would say right now, don't summon an All Might right away. Do not summon an All Might because this guy comes out in less than in about three days or so uh, on the 30th of uh, 30th JST. He, he comes out in like three days ish, roughly a little less than three days, maybe give or take some hours. But either way, wait until that impact fast banner comes out, because I do believe if I'm not mistaken, the All Might ABL unit, the one that just came out, that All Might, he should be in the general pool for this banner. So I would wait and not summon on that, and I would summon on this banner, especially if you're free to play. 1.5 times rates is just, it's the best. I would not recommend summoning All Might with this banner on the way. But this Todoroki's cracked. He's he's awesome. His plus ultra tech looks cool. Another fantasy unit. What do you guys think? I know a lot of you guys wanted fantasy Todoroki or were hoping that he would drop when the anniversary for JP version was going around. But let me know your thoughts and opinions now that he is coming. Again, they just, here you go, dropped him. <laughs> I don't know. But his, his kid is fantastic. Can't wait to try him out in game. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.